to obtain better accuracy with greater ease. Place the angle block against the blade as shown. When the blade is tilted to the correct angle, the edge of the angle block will be square with the table surface. Adjust the blade tilt so that both hands point to zero. This is the same as the one inch point. When you do this, the blade will be at the correct angle. The next step is to align the fence parallel to the miter slot. Place the stylus of the dial indicator against the face of the fence and rotate the scale so that the large hand points to zero. Observe the reading along the length of the fence. When the fence is properly aligned, the change in reading should be minimal. Consult your owner's manual to determine how to correct the alignment of your fence. Not all fences can be adjusted for squareness. However, you'll gain more accuracy in your rib cuts and tenon shoulder cuts if your fence is square to the table surface. With the stylus of your Chia Aligner Jr. against the fence, you can make very small and precise changes to the position of your fence. Start by rotating the scale so that the large hand points to zero. Here, the fence is being moved out by ten thousandths of an inch. Now the fence is being moved in by ten thousandths of an inch. Aligning your miter gauge can be done very easily and accurately with TS Aligner Jr. Start by using an accurate indicating square. Move the stylus up to the edge of the square. If the stylus is too high, the dial indicator can be tilted down slightly without affecting accuracy. Now move the square into the stylus to get a good reading on the dial indicator. Push the miter gauge forward and zero the indicator at the base of the square. Slide the miter gauge back. The change in reading indicates that adjustment is necessary. Adjust the miter gauge to bring the reading back to zero. Then slide the miter gauge forward again. Zero the indicator and check the alignment by sliding the miter gauge back. It's not unusual or difficult to achieve nearly perfect alignment as shown here. Miter angles are set just as easily and accurately.
A precision ground steel angle block is used in place of the square. Clamp a piece of wood behind the angle block to assist you in holding it still. As before, zero the indicator with the miter gauge pushed forward. Now slide the miter gauge back and observe any change in reading. Adjusting the miter gauge to minimize the change in reading will ensure a precise setting. Configuring TS Aligner Junior as a height gauge allows you to make many adjustments on your table saw. Remove the bearings so that the base can slide freely on the table surface. Adjust the height of the dial indicator so that the plunger is barely pressed in and both hands point to zero. The throat plate and table wings can be easily checked for level and adjusted if necessary. Precise blade height settings can also be done very easily. 